Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Kingdom or Legacy Blaster and Clearject. I mean eject. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on foil backing and two little Toy Hacks Armory Blasters for eject. So now, without further ado, Let's take a look at Blaster and Eject before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Eject looks pretty good, except for the fact that they made him in translucent blue plastic. No idea why they did that, what their thought process was, but that's a complaint for another video, actually my review of this figure. He does have pretty decent paint applications on him. He's got gold right there for his pecs and down there on his crotch. Great looking head sculpt right there. Very eject looking and really that's about it lots of clear blue plastic with yellow paint so there you go guys there you have eject in robot mode before and after eject gets a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode these new red and blue decals up there on the shoulders along with a new autobot insignia for the middle of his chest the back of the robot mode gets the red and blue decals as well, along with blue pinhole covers here and gold pinhole covers for the lower back and the back of the legs. Of course, the big seller for Eject is these really cool Toy Hacks Armory Blasters, and these look awesome. Done up in a very nice gold color scheme, lots of nice molded details, nice and smooth, and fits inside the port on Eject very easily and he looks great. A great homage to the original Generation 1 toy. So there you go guys, Eject in robot mode after. In cassette mode, straight out of the packaging, Eject, well, kind of looks like a cassette. He loses a lot of the details thanks to that translucent plastic. He's got the same yellow paint applications from robot mode. And that's it. I mean, this guy needs a lot of work in his cassette mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at Eject as a cassette before. And after. Cassette mode gets a few new decals, but it still really doesn't help. You've got the same decals that you saw in robot mode earlier, and now you have these new chrome decals that say Side A, Metal Position, and MC60. Now the back of the cassette, you've got a side B, metal position, and MC60. So, a little bit of improvement, but not much. So there you go guys, eject in cassette mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Blaster looks great and very cartoon accurate. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here with the head. He's got some light gray there for the forehead. Some great paint applications for the eyes. I love that. Look how it catches the light. They look almost metallic. And then he has a gray face. The chest has Blaster's signature yellow color scheme with the big red Autobot logo right there. And he does have a translucent blue window, but it really doesn't look too bad because it really accents the sculpted detail within. So translucent plastic I can actually live with. Gray buttons down here below the chest door. Red on the thighs, moving on down to the lower legs. He's got the black speakers, black feet. And really, that's about it. Some black there for the shoulders. So there you go, guys. Blaster in robot mode before. 
and after. Blaster's robot mode gets a lot of new decals thanks to toy hacks. And the first one you're probably noticing is the new decal here for his chest. This is a very G1 animated look for Blaster. And you do get options. You have this solid blue decal right here that I actually had applied first. But when I pulled up an image of Blaster from Transformers the movie, I saw that this here was his look, so I switched it out. And I think that looks really good. Checking out the rest of the figure, starting here with the head sculpt. He does have new blue eye decals. Decals I almost didn't put on because I like the factory paint, but these are a lot darker blue and catch the light just as well. I also gave Blaster a new Autobot decal, and I like it because it has the gray outline that matches up with this decal here and the decals on his legs. He gets new blue and silver decals for the shoulders, blue, yellow, and red decals right there below, new red and silver decals for the forearms, and a new decal that covers up the entire ejecting assembly right here. And I love the looks of those, nice and chrome. And these are kind of a challenge to put on because you wanna make sure and get that decal up here on the top and then loop it over while pressing it in as you apply. So it goes all the way from up top, down and around to underneath. And man, that looks so good. Of course, I love chrome anyway. So shiny, so chrome. New decals here for, as I call, the belt area and the crotch. New red and silver decals for the thighs with little chrome triangles right there. New pin striping for the thighs. Down here on the knees, he gets new decals. And new decals for the leg speakers that look awesome. Inside the foot cavity, you get new red circle decals along with these blue ones here and new decals for the toes. Right here is a really cool optional decal you can get Blaster. It is a scrounge tattoo. That is a throwback to issue number 17. Scrounge here was Blaster's partner on Cybertron who unfortunately fell victim to the smelting pool. So a nice little G1 throwback right there. On the back of Blaster, he gets these new yellow decals right here and blue decals along with thruster decals right there. So Blaster now has a jetpack. We'll go over these in boombox mode. And lastly, Blaster gets new decals for his, well, Blaster. New decals on the scope that show crosshairs. So you've got one for the front and one for the back. So I really like that. We'll go ahead and get that in Blaster's hand here. So there you go, Blaster in robot mode after. In boombox mode, straight out of the packaging, Blaster looks awesome with lots of paint application details. I mean, check this out. We of course got Blaster's signature yellow door right there once again, but what makes this stand out is all the black details that add all kinds of features and functions to the boombox. We've got dials, buttons, some pin striping. You got the molded details right there for extra buttons and features, but all the black really makes this pop, especially with the speakers. You got the little speakers here, here, and the big ones right there. And even on the sides, the speakers carry over from leg mode, though you do flip those around. So the boombox mode looks awesome, and I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for this. So there you go, guys. Blaster in boombox mode before. And after. Blaster's boombox mode looks amazing now, thanks to Toy Hacks. Now, of course, you're already seeing the new decal right there on the cassette door, but check out all the new dials and features that they added. New chrome decals there for the top of the dials that look really good and love the way they catch the light. Also, the same decals here on the smaller dials. You get a Sony decal right there. You do have options. You have Sanyo as well, but I went with Sony because, well, I own a PlayStation. A new, I don't know what you call that. I have totally drawn a blank when the music's playing and it the tempo show and you've got that right there. I cannot believe I can't remember what that's called. I like the little Autobot symbol right there. 
new decals here on those little speakers or tweeters or whatever. I am not a sound guy, so please forgive me. And I tell you right here, these new decals in the speakers, those were an absolute challenge to put on. And thankfully, Toy Hacks does give you extras in case you screw up, but they come in halves. And what you have to do is slide the decal in and under the gray bars right there. And I mean, that took a lot of patience. I get that slid in just in the right spot. I think I have one section applied and went to pull it out. It's still stuck to the tweezers. So it took multiple tries to get those in, but I think once you get those applied, they look really, really good. And of course you got the chrome right here for the ejecting button section. Let's see, new little decals right there. It's catching the light. They're like little gold decals that go in there. On the side, you get these new decals here that we saw in leg mode. And what really surprised me is Toy Hacks didn't give us any decals for the little side speaker right here. You know, the one that you rotate around when you transform blaster. So for boombox mode, I may leave it unrotated. So it's kind of got that nice matchup right there. But that one really surprised me why they didn't give you decals for that. But all in all, I love how the boombox mode looks now. That's just great, that is so eye-catching. So there you go, blaster in boombox mode after. Toy Hacks once again went above and beyond the Call of Duty with this decal set for Kingdom or Legacy Blaster and Eject. This was a figure that I really didn't think needed a lot of decal work, but man, did Toy Hacks prove me wrong. I love the Generation 1 throwbacks. I love all the extra little details that really make both modes for both figures really pop. And I absolutely love the little guns that they gave Eject. That figure needs all the help he can get. So yeah, if you have a Kingdom or Legacy Blaster in Eject, I highly recommend this set. But, as I said earlier, you have to have a lot of patience when applying this decal set, especially with the speakers in Blaster's boombox mode. Take your time, take a deep breath, and you'll get those decals applied perfectly. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button thanks to YouTube. I offer channel memberships and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. It's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!